Hello. Today we will be discussing a few of the common myths associated with autism. Myth number one, autism is contagious. Autism is not a virus or a sickness. Autism is a wide range of conditions, usually characterized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, speech, and nonverbal communication. Doctors are not sure what causes autism, but research suggests that it is likely a combination of genetics and different environmental factors. Autism or autism spectrum disorder, according to the CDC, affects an estimated 1 in 54 children in the United States, and it is four times more prevalent in boys than it is in girls. It impacts individuals of every race and culture. Autism is not contagious. Myth number two, children with autism cannot learn. Individuals with autism are very capable of learning. Some may develop skills at different rates than typically developing children and in a different order, but that doesn't mean that they are unable to learn. Research shows that early intervention therapy makes a dramatic impact on learning and skill development. It's also important to understand that autism is a spectrum disorder, meaning there is a wide variety of symptoms that people with autism experience. It's different for every individual. A person with autism may be nonverbal, or they may communicate very clearly. Some may require assistance with everyday tasks, while others may live completely independent lives. No two people with autism are the same. Myth number three, autism is a result of bad parenting. Autism is a neurological and developmental disorder and not a result of bad parenting. Signs and symptoms of autism can be seen in children as young as 18 months of age, and a diagnosis can be given at approximately three years old. As a parent, I know firsthand what it feels like to blame yourself for many things that do not go as planned with your child. Having a child with a disorder or disability increases the instances of a parent's blaming themselves. It is important to remember that these thoughts are counterproductive to a child's development. It is important to step away from this guilt in order to better assist your child. And it's beneficial to consult with the professionals in the field as they have the knowledge, expertise, and experience to assist the parents with attending to their child's needs. Myth number four, children with autism do not feel. Although children with autism may not always be aware of others' emotions due to social deficits, they have emotions and feelings just like other children their age. Expression, social skills, social cues, communication skills, play skills, etc. are part of the curriculum that is taught to the children with autism through ABA therapy. Through these therapies, children with autism may learn how to better communicate their feelings and emotions. Myth number five. Children will grow out of autism. Although autism is a lifelong process, individuals with autism can live independent lives, hold jobs, own homes, and have families. Progress from early intervention allows children to progress with life skills. An ongoing treatment is recommended and readily accessible now than it has ever been. Ongoing treatment supports an individual with autism as they transition into adulthood. Some examples of what this could look like is teaching teens and adolescents with autism about money skills, promoting independence, assisting with resume building skills, and applying for jobs. These are some of the most commonly associated myths with autism. These myths do not hold true. It is very important to consult a professional in the field if you are noticing delays in development or signs of autism in your child. We at Early Autism Services are happy to provide a free consultation with one of our board-certified behavioral analysts. Please contact us with any questions or concerns or to schedule a free consultation. You can visit our website at earlyautismservices.com or you may also email us at info at earlyautismservices.com. Thank you.